All right, now I'm just going to screen uh, record my screen and we're going to go into the phone settings and make sure I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, which I am connected to the Wi-Fi. I'm going to uh, forget the network so I can show you pairing to it real quick. So when you scan for the network, it'll come up as Swaptic scoreboard. You click on that and you're going to enter the password, which is just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very complicated. Um, <clears throat> Once you pair it to the network, you're going to go and open up a web browser and you're going to type in 192.168.4.1 and then semi or a colon 81. Now, this is the settings page, okay, for the system. And you can also scan the QR code, which I have as well, that automatically open the web page. We're just going to do that. And this is what the control screen looks like. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now I'm also going to create a new tab and I'm going to go 192.168.4.1, which is the scoreboard. So it says set the top swap tick score and it says the points and status for the scoring. All right. Uh, right now, for some reason, it says it's got points, whatever, accumulating. But that's, that's, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just game clear over. clear the score by pressing end game. I just want to make sure that all the game, play, guns are ready to go and the, and the swap ticks control is ready to go. Uh, I'll press the swap host ticks. button, the host player. As you can hear the guns going off in the background, they are all hosted and ready to go when I press the host players button. That puts them in the settings mode to allow them to, to change teams, etc., whatever we need to. I'm going to go ahead and look at the drop downs now for the game settings. I can select either indoor or outdoor mode, which basically is just setting how much output the infrared has, uh, whether it's in daylight or not, as well as increases the volume. So we're going to set it to outdoor mode. We're going to go to the game mode. You can select team battle or battle royale. We'll do team battle. Uh, the health and life settings. You can set health and lives to low, um, which, which is uh, a low health or five lives. Or you can set it to high or unlimited lives. Uh, since we're playing team battle, it's either going to be five lives or unlimited. We're going to go to five. So whenever a player runs out, they have five lives to live. When they're dead, they're dead. Um, when they run out of the five, we're going to go the time or storm settings. So we're going to either turn the time on and make it a 10 minute game or time off makes it an unlimited time. We're going to do a 10 minute game setting. And then respawn allows you to set it to have players respawn by pulling the trigger or require them to go to a base to be respawned. We're going to set it to trigger for now. In order for the respawn for a base to work, you would need a base station that has the respawn infrared tag emitting so the players would go up there receive the, inf the infrared tag to respawn back in the game and that makes it fun for different objective type gameplay i also have override settings for default game settings right to set it up for free for all for 10 kills free for all for 20 kills or team kills to team 25 kills team 50 kills and the scoring system in based on, on, my, on my host controller will accumulate the kills show the score for the kills and then once they have those that will end the game automatically. Uh, there's other settings too for capture the flag and, and things like that. Um, we're just going to do the objective as a five-minute game just for now, just to have that set. And now that those are all set, I'm going to press start game. And all the games are... And all the guns have started into the game mode and they're all playing. Uh, now I'll switch over to... The scoring board, uh, for some reason, I'm, I'm going to have to double check the scoring system. For some reason, it's doing weird score accumulations. But I'm going to go ahead and use one red gun. Actually, let's do one green gun. Use a green gun to kill a red player. remaining and it looks like you need to do some work on the scoring still but it should have recorded the, the score properly that's okay 
we'll work, I'll work on that. But it, you would see the scores populated here is what how it should work. And apparently I'm not getting the correct score reporting on the new firmware. But uh, anyway, the game settings are working. I'll double check and get things working for the scoring and have that fixed soon. And uh, ready to end the game early. I can just press end game. Game over. And it'll stop the game from all the players.